and take a note here that we will not reach benchmarks of 2030 without global citizenship, without collective human effort and work to reach our goals. Um, world is one family. So the global citizenship actually uh, envisages that uh, and the core concept of that is what uh, we have been promoting for millions of years, so thousands of years. Indian tradition has always held that uh, world is one family. Today, we gather to address some of the most pressing issues facing our planet. Just to name a few, severe marine plastic pollution, the limitation of waste disposal through recycling, and its harmful impact on human health and the environment. I want to underscore the importance of water in the lives of all people and the fact that 2 billion people, as we know on the planet, do not have ready access to potable water. And that's a fundamental problem, one that can be solved and one that needs to be solved. So I really would like to appeal all the uh, stakeholders to raise awareness and educate citizens as well as engaging youth so that they can not only become consumers, but actors in addressing global water issues towards the clean water. Some of the learnings that we have from our institutions and young people, and particularly our indigenous communities on those academic campuses, is that water is life itself. The air into aerosols and affect our health. So you can see how this isn't a one cycle problem. It isn't just about water. Plastics get into water, get into the air, into uh, you know our bodies, into the environment, like my colleagues have all mentioned. When we told them they would now have to start paying school fees, either in cash or in plastic, then we achieved a 100% plastic submission rate. Now, four schools with 2,000 students are implementing Uxher's plastic school fees model, going up to 25 government schools this year. So far, while testing the system, we have already extracted 200,000 kilos, but this is while testing the system, while ensuring that the system works. And our expectation now is uh, to have a blueprint for scale up. Like I mentioned, when the oil is made, it's not in great condition, so a refining process needs to be made. But for Ecoflame, it can take the oil as it is, without any refinement. And not only can it take the unrefined oil, but it can also incinerate the byproducts that come with it. And as you can see here, we made it super clear, Ecoflame's combustion device emits less pollution than Korea's emission allowance standard, even without a dust collection facility. We provide master plan, feasible staff, and design service for smart city. New technology shall be applied to waste to energy plants to minimize the plastic byproducts and make the eco-friendly earth. In order for the younger generation to prepare for the future, it is important to recognize the importance of the environment through education and participation. In uh, forming a bottle in the international recycling symbol with the colors of the Korean flag, the students presented this idea. So now, once we came up, once the students came up with this idea, as we proceed to the next slide, the students then presented a plan of collaborating with Korean companies and government, local, and regional agencies to build the infrastructure for production. We are going to connect universities in three countries, the university students are going to partner up, team up to work on their environmental issue locally, 
and then globally communicate and collaborate to come up with the solution. So they're going to have uh, asynchronous virtual exchange constantly every week. And then sometimes they're going to meet face-to-face -face using virtual platform like this, discuss their idea. It's based on compassion, responsibility, and sense of belonging to this whole world as global citizen so that we can live together in a cleaner and water with a cleaner energy, cleaner environment. Actions on the ground, combined with technological breakthroughs, spread through his own site as well as virtual education, I believe this is the multi-stakeholder partnership model that we need in tackling climate, water, energy crisis, and cultivating global citizenships for all walks of our life. We must think and act locally and globally to address this water crisis. We must address this crisis where water is everywhere, locally and globally. Water symbolizes justice, and water seeking its level evokes justice for all people and the planet.